Hello everyone and welcome to our video on the likely side effects of COVID-19 vaccines. Before we begin, it's important to note that this content is purely informational and not a substitute for professional medical advice. Vaccines have been instrumental in our fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. They have been developed and tested rigorously to ensure their safety and efficacy. However, like any medical intervention, they may have side effects. These are usually mild and temporary, but it's crucial to be aware of them. Our aim today is to arm you with knowledge, not to deter you from getting vaccinated. Remember, the benefits of getting vaccinated far outweigh the risks. So always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Now let's delve into 15 likely side effects of COVID-19 vaccines. The first set of side effects we'll discuss are those most commonly reported. It's crucial to bear in mind that these side effects are typically mild and temporary, often resolving within a few days. One of the most frequently encountered side effects is pain or soreness at the injection site. This discomfort usually fades away over a few days and can be managed with the aid of over-the-counter pain relievers if necessary. Next, there's fatigue. Some people might feel a bit tired or weary, particularly after receiving the second dose of a two-dose vaccine series. If you find yourself feeling fatigued after getting vaccinated, remember that it's essential to rest, stay hydrated and take it easy for a while. Then we have headaches. Some individuals may experience a mild headache after vaccination. These are usually transient and can be eased with rest and hydration. If the headache persists or becomes severe, it's advisable to consult a healthcare professional. Muscle or joint pain is another side effect that some individuals may encounter. This discomfort can manifest as aches and pains in the muscles or joints and can be alleviated with the help of gentle stretching and over-the-counter pain relievers. Feeling a bit feverish or getting chills is also a common side effect. These symptoms may occur as the body's immune system responds to the vaccine. Rest, hydration and over-the-counter fever reducers can help manage these symptoms. Lastly, some people may experience mild nausea or gastrointestinal discomfort post-vaccination. This side effect is generally temporary and resolves on its own over time. However, if nausea persists or becomes severe, it might be best to seek medical advice. While these side effects might be uncomfortable, they are generally mild and short-lived. Remember, these reactions are typically a sign that your body is building protection against the virus. However, if any of these symptoms persist or become severe, it's crucial to contact a healthcare provider. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember, the benefits of getting vaccinated far outweigh the temporary discomfort of these common side effects. Now let's move on to some less common but still possible side effects. Although these reactions aren't as prevalent as the ones we've previously discussed, it's still important to be aware of them and recognize when you might need to consult a healthcare professional. Firstly, swelling or redness at the injection site might be experienced by some individuals. This is a normal response from your body's immune system and usually subsides within a few days. Next, we have lymph node swelling. This typically occurs near the injection site and is often a temporary reaction. It's a sign that your body is building protection against the virus. If you notice a lump or swelling, don't panic. It should subside within a few days. Dizziness or lightheadedness is another less common side effect. If you start to feel dizzy, it's important to sit or lie down immediately and avoid operating heavy machinery or driving until the sensation passes. Some people might also notice bruising at the injection site, particularly those with sensitive skin or a tendency to bruise easily. Applying a cold compress can help reduce any bruising and discomfort. A skin reaction such as itching or a rash can sometimes occur post-vaccination. These reactions are usually mild and can be treated with over-the-counter antihistamines or topical corticosteroids. Moving on, swollen glands, particularly in the neck or armpit area, can be a side effect for some. This is usually mild and should resolve on its own. Lastly, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing is a less common side effect. While it's rare, it is significant. If you experience severe or persistent shortness of breath, seek medical attention immediately. Although these side effects are less common, it's important to be aware of them and seek medical attention if needed. Remember, most side effects are short-lived and are a sign that your body is building protection against the virus. The benefits of getting vaccinated far outweigh the potential risks. 
Stay informed, stay safe, and let's beat this virus together. Lastly, let's discuss a rare but serious possible side effect. Severe allergic reactions known as anaphylaxis are not common, but they can occur. These reactions typically happen within minutes to an hour after getting the vaccine. Symptoms may include hives, swelling of the face and throat, difficulty breathing, a fast heartbeat, dizziness and weakness. If you experience any of these symptoms after vaccination, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. In conclusion, while side effects can be uncomfortable, they are typically mild and temporary, signaling that the body is building protection against the virus. It's important to remember that the chances of experiencing severe side effects are extremely low compared to the benefits of receiving the vaccine and building immunity against COVID-19. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.